oxygen gas generated in an experiment is collected at 25 degrees Celsius in a bottle inverted in a trough of water. The external laboratory pressure is 1.0 atm. When the water level in the originally full bottle has fallen to the level in the trough, the volume of the collected gas is 1,750 milliliters. How many moles of oxygen gas have been collected? Okay. So in order to solve a problem like this, we will need to use the ideal gas equation. This is written as N equals PV over RT. An easy way to remember this is PV equals NRT, or pervnert. The variable N represents the number of moles that are present in the system. The variable P represents the pressure on the system. The variable V represents the volume. The variable R represents the R constant. And the variable T represents the temperature of the system. Pressure was given to us at 1.0 atm. However, the system is at 25 degrees Celsius. We need to find what the pressure is at this new temperature. This is done by consulting a water vapor chart. If we look at the chart, we find that at 25 degrees Celsius, the pressure is equal to 23.8 millimeters mercury. We need to now convert that into atm. One atm is equivalent to 760 millimeters mercury. If we do basic stoichiometry, we find that 1.0 atm over 760 millimeters times 23.8 millimeters mercury is equal to 0.0313 atm. If we then subtract that value from 1.0 atm, we'll find that our value for pressure is 0.969 atm. Next, let's take a look at volume. Volume was given to us at 1,750 milliliters. However, our R constant unit is in terms of centimeters cubed. In order to be consistent, and have our equation function and cancel terms, we will need to convert the volume into centimeters cubed. This is accomplished through basic stoichiometry. We take 1,750 milliliters and we multiply it by one centimeter cubed over one milliliter, we will get 1,750 centimeters cubed. It's a pretty easy problem to do. So what exactly is this R constant thing? Well, it's going to be given to you by your professor or TA. It's a known value and there's a couple different ones. The one we're going to be using is 82.054, and notice that's in terms of centimeters cubed. That's going to be really important when we're canceling our terms. Let's look at temperature. Temperature was given to us at 25 degrees Celsius. In order to use the equation, we need to convert it to degrees Kelvin. That is really simple to do. Zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to 270 degrees Kelvin. If we take 25 degrees Celsius and add 273, we get 298 degrees Kelvin. It's that easy. Okay, so once again, the equation was N equals PV over RT. Let's plug in all the values. N equals 0.69 atm times 1,750 milliliters over 82.54 centimeters cubed times 298 degrees K. Notice that all the terms are going to cancel until all that we are left with is in moles. And we'll get our final answer, which is 0.0694 moles.